Hi everybody, we're going to get started here. My name is Nicole, and this is Angela, and we are from the WHA Virtual Library, and we're going to be talking to you today about finding information on geriatrics. This webinar is being recorded, and it will be posted afterwards on our YouTube channel, as well as linked from our library training page, where you can also find out more information about our upcoming webinars. So who are we? The WHA Virtual Library is a service that provides access to electronic resources and library services for staff of the WRHA, the eligible community health agencies, which are listed on our website, as well as the eligible personal care homes. We provide access to a whole bunch of different electronic resources, some of which you'll hear about in today's presentation. We also provide a number of different library services. One of those is education and training sessions, like this one, thus we're here. Uh, we also do literature searches, whereas you can submit a topic or a question that you'd like to find literature about, and we can actually search for the different journal articles or other sources for you and send you a list. We do document delivery for anything we don't have direct access to, so if you find a journal article that you really want to read, a book, or a video, whatever, let us know. We can send it either to you by email or directly to your place of work. Finally, we have our current awareness service, which we'll be talking about as part of this webinar. Okay, so the objectives today, and if you have any questions, feel free to use the chat and we'll get to them as, as we can. Uh, the objectives today is we want you to know how to find the geriatric resources that the WRHA Virtual Library offers. So what we have and demonstrate how to find those resources. And I also wanted to leave you with some instructions on how to get to those resources because I know in a few weeks you'll forget how so in uh, this webinar there's lots of written instructions so you don't feel you have to write anything down uh, there'll be quick reminders on how to do that and this uh, webinar sort of assumes that you you know some of the information that you know how to order articles or order journals uh, that you know how to uh, form a search strategy and execute a search in the various databases but don't worry uh, I've also left information in, in each section as to where, if you forget how to do those things, we're talking about them and you don't remember how to do them, but there's little tips on where to get more information. Uh, we have lots of webinars and short videos that you can refer to. So today we're going to find out how to find geriatric resources and I wanted to indicate that I use geriatrics. I, I, interpreted that as a very broad term. I included gerontology and long-term care as well. Uh, and we're going to look today as to how to find information in the library catalog, ebooks, e-journals, databases, guidelines, current perspectives, and toolkits. So the first place to look in, uh, a good starting point, is our virtual library catalog. Uh, basic search will include articles, books, journals, audiovisuals and other items. These are things that we have purchased electronically for the WHA mm -hmm. library, but you also have access to the print resources that are available through the, through the University of Manitoba. So these are your written instructions. This is the URL, URL that you want to memorize or, or shortcut or bookmark. Uh, this gets you to all of our resources. So you click, you go to that URL, you We'll see a search bar. You click in the search bar and type in one or more keywords. You then click the search button. And I've just put down a few suggested uh, search terms for you. You might have more specific terms like incontinence or delirium or dementia or Alzheimer's, so forth, that uh, you, you would want to enter. So that is, uh, those are the instructions. And next we'll take a visual, see how we how that looks. So we've gone to that URL. This is the home page. In the middle there is the search bar. I've typed in geriatrics there, and then we will click on the search button. Once you do that, you're then uh, brought to the results page. At this point, uh, you've got over well over 300,000 searches uh, results, so you can refine that by adding more search terms, or you can use the uh, tweak my results on the left-hand side there. You can tweak the results by availability, whether uh, the resource is available full text online or if it's in the library. 
You've got publication date that you can narrow it by. Usually you want the most recent, three or five or 10 years. Uh, you can search by content type as well, narrow the search if you're just looking for books or book chapters perhaps, or articles. You can also use language and subject as well. So in this case, uh, if you go, if you click on one of the uh, titles of the items that are listed there, it's hyperlinked. It is hyperlinked and uh, you will click on it and go into the record of the item. From there, you can see whether or not you have access to it. Any of the items that have a publisher with WRIJ in front of it, you have full text access to. Uh, you would need to log in to get to that information, but uh, we'll demonstrate that a little bit later. So you click on the title. If it, there's no WHA access on it, uh, you, you can order the item, and that means you have to have logged in to the system. So in the top right-hand corner, there's a login. You log in with your WHA username and password, and that allows you to order the item if you don't have full text access. And if you've forgotten what your username and password is, just let us know, or there's also an option uh, to get help logging in when you click on the login button. Yeah, so the you'll know you're logged in uh, if your name is in the top right-hand corner. And I've put down how to access or, or order articles. There's the URL as well. So finding eBooks, again, that magic URL. Uh, you go to that, you click on our tab, find information. From the pull down menu, you select online resources. At that point, you can use the alphabetical listing, click on the E to jump down to that section, or you can simply scroll down to the E section. And in this case, we're gonna select the EBSCO eBook general collection. Uh, at this point, you're gonna to have to enter your WHA uh, virtual library username and password since you're going into one of our licensed resources. And again, I've put down some suggested uh, search terms for you. So the visual is we're back on our homepage. Uh, across the top there are tabs. I've clicked on find information. Uh, you might notice down below there are boxes as well with the same names and you could click on those as well, but I'm demonstrating the tabs today. So find information. Uh, go to the online resources and that will bring you to our online, uh, all of our resources that are available online. You then click on the EBSCOhost eBook general collection after you've scrolled down to it. And at that point, as I said, you would have to log in with your uh, WRHA user, virtual library username and password. So once you get into the database, you have the search box there, and I've entered in elder abuse. Uh, you could use quotes around this, so that would search it as a phrase rather than as two independent words. In some cases, you might want to use an asterisk or star after a word, at the end of a word, to truncate the word. So for instance, if you search for geriatric and you put the asterisk after it, it would search geriatric, geriatrics, the plural, and geriatrician, and any other variations. Don't worry if you don't remember the fine points of how to do the searches. Uh, you can visit our URL here, and we have a splendid guide on how to execute searches. So I've uh, entered that elder abuse and I've ended up with luckily only five results here. But if I needed to on the left hand side, I, get, I can again refine the results. I have some options there. Um, but in this case, I am interested in perhaps the first item there and I can pull up the uh, PDF of the full text for this. Uh, you can have other options there as well. The EPUB full text is uh, another option and it operates more like you're in the web so that if there's any hyperlinks that will be available. The full download is also available. It's uh, If you use that option you do need to have an EBSCO host uh, an account with them so you'd have to set that up beforehand and it does need specialized software. So you might not be able to use that one, but it operates as if you're borrowing a book. You'd be able to have this downloaded PDF for a week or something yeah, like that. Just to mention that EBSCO account, it doesn't cost anything. Yes. You don't have to subscribe. We've subscribed already. You just have to create a personal account. Yes, 
Yes, exactly. So in this case, you're going to pull up the uh, full PDF uh, of this uh, by clicking on this uh, where I have the arrow, and that gets you into the actual PDF of the book. Off to the left there, again, you have uh, the table of contents so that you can jump down to various sections, or you could go through it page by page by using the arrow uh, at the bottom of the book there. I did want to mention that the publisher does have some restrictions on uh, or permissions that you have a, a limit on how much you can print or save or uh, download. So the, the EBSCO host ebook general collection, these are just a selection of various textbooks that are available through uh, that collection. If there are any time there's any ebooks that you feel that we should have and uh, we don't have, please let us know by contacting us and we will forward that information onto our purchase department who will look into uh, the availability of that item. It has to be an ebook in an ebook version and as to what the cost is. Uh, so besides ebook host uh, general collection, we do have various other collections. Access Medicine, and I've provided a few examples of the books that are available there, JAMA Ed Evidence, as well as Lippicott, Williams, and Wilkins. And you would use the same instructions to get to these collections as, as in the previous one. So finding e-journals is almost the same. We uh, have uh, the same URL. You go to the Find Information tabs. We've created a handy page for you, though, uh, where we have co collated a few of the collections together for easy access for you. So you would click on e-journal collections at this point. This brings you to this page, and these are just three on this page. You can't see them all, but there are three major uh, journal collections that we have, the one being the BMJ journals, uh, Cambridge Core, and JAMA journals. Uh, if you need to find other journals, you could also use the catalog and just type in a title of a journal and look for it that way. So in this case, let's uh, select BMJ Open. If it's a new, if this is a new uh, session for you, you're going to be asked to log in again. If you're still logged in from the previous time, then you probably won't see this again. But if it's a new one, you are asked to log in again because it is a licensed resource. But once you get past that, you get to usually the most current issue of the article uh, that the journal has. Uh, if you need an older issue, check around on the page and look for anything that says past issues or archives. In this case, it's in the purple bar to the right hand side. Yes. Uh, so from here, you can click on the individual titles and pull up the full text and usually look for a PDF symbol as that's usually the better version to read the article in. So again, these are just a few selections of e-journals that we have for geriatrics, gerontology, and long-term care. Uh, I wanted to mention that when we license uh, from various publishers uh, journals, they sometimes place embargoes on these journals. So sometimes they'll be anywhere from six to 12 months meaning that the most current information is not available to us. Uh, some publishers are allowing, uh, are now providing open access as well, but that varies from, published, from publisher to publisher, title to title, as to how much they uh, provide open access. Sometimes it's just the editorial that they provide open access to. So again, at any time, if there are journal titles that you see are missing from our collection that would be useful for your department, then let us know and we'll see what we can do about getting those added into this. Uh, as well as any articles, if they're embargoed or we simply don't subscribe to that journal title, you can request it by uh, ordering the full text. And we do have this URL handy for you so that if you forget how to order articles, it's a very short, uh, under three minute video on how to do that. So other, we do have other e-collections as well, e-journal collections. Uh, you would find it the same way we just found the other one. Uh, this is a selection of them. And I've again provided you with information on how to find those e-journals in case you've forgotten how. 
So at this point, I'm going to pass it over to Nicole, who will talk to us about finding databases. All right. So in addition to our various e-journal collections, we also have a set of databases that index all kinds of different content, such as books and journals, as well as videos, theses, patient education resources, and other materials. Uh, to find these from our homepage, you would click on the tab or the button, Find Information, and then select Online Resources, and that'll get you back to our big online resources list where it shows you everything that we have access to. You can use the alphabetical list or stro scroll down the page to navigate. Select a database, log in, and then search in that particular database. Now, we have previously done a whole bunch of different webinars on various databases that you're welcome to watch at your leisure. Um, we also have our guides to how to search, as well as some training materials available on our website. And here are some various URLs that might be helpful for you if you're not familiar with search strategies or need help using particular databases. Mm -hmm. So the top three databases we want to mention to you for this topic area, CINAHL Plus is a nursing and allied health focused database. It has about 770 journals. Um, it's a core research tool really for nursing especially. Uh, if you're in the allied health field, you might also want to take a look at MCARE, which is another allied health database on our database list. It's uh, got a bit more coverage in terms of allied health rather than nursing specific areas. Uh, we've got Medline with full text through EBSCOhost. This is basically the full text of the materials that you might find through PubMed or through Ovid Medline, which we also have, but which we don't necessarily have full text for. So this is a huge biomedical database. It includes a whole bunch of different stuff, 1,400 plus journals, covers everything from preclinical science to biomedicine to basic medicine, nursing, dentistry, veterinary medicine, animal science, everything. Um, finally, we have PsychInfo, which is another Ovid database. It looks at um, psychological and behavioral health sciences in particular. It's got a whole bunch of dissertations as well as journal articles, books, chapters. Another one that might be interesting to you is HealthStar, which is more focused on health services mm -hmm. and technology assessment, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All right, then we have our list of guidelines and we have done a a webinar previously that's focused specifically on guidelines. If you'd like to review that, it is available on our website at that URL right there. Um, but we also have our toolkit, and I'll talk about toolkits in a little bit, and some several different databases that are specific to guidelines. For example, the Canadian Practice Guideline Infobase, uh, which is provided by the Canadian Medical Association, that has a whole bunch of different um, Canadian-specific guidelines. We have uh, the TRIP database, we have HSAT, um, several different databases that focus on guidelines specifically. We also have some different tips and tricks for using Google to find uh, guidelines specifically. And again, we do have a webinar specifically on Google, mm -hmm. Google that you're welcome to review. But just to quickly mention this little search tip, you can do a site-specific search in Google by doing site colon and then the site name. For example, in this case, uh, we have SOGC.org. You can do in title if you want to look specifically for something in the title of the search result. In this example, we've got in title guidelines, so that would find any research result from SOGC.org that has guideline in the title of the page. And finally, you can do a file type specific search. So if you want to look just at PDFs, which are a lot of guidelines will be published in PDF format. You can also do Word documents where you might find um, nursing manuals, for example, or other things that might be useful for you. We also have our current perspective service. So if you go back to the homepage and under the services tab, you select current awareness. We have a whole bunch of bibliographies of recent literature on topics of interest to gerontology, geriatrics, and long-term care. Uh, here's a selection of the topics that are there, but there's really a whole bunch more. And mm -hmm. we check, check back often because we constantly are adding materials to the site. You can request specific topics and we can also set up a personalized uh, alert service for you, which is basically we set up a search in PubMed or in a different database, and it'll automatically email you new results on your particular topic area whenever any are published. Finally, I would recommend that you uh, subscribe to our WHA Virtual Library newsletter because we'll provide you with lots of information about new and upcoming resources and materials that would be mm -hmm. helpful for you. Great. Finally, we have our toolkits. So toolkits are basically a key resource guide that provides an overview of the key resources in a subject area. 
So if you go to our homepage and click on Find Information and then Toolkits, there's a set of toolkits on various different topic areas. Uh, some that are particularly relevant to this subject are the Long-Term Care Toolkit, of course, but also in medicine and geriatrics, or, sorry, nursing and medicine, there are geriatric-specific subcategories for those toolkits. Mm -hmm. And if you needed to, if you're interested in new topics, let us know and we would be very happy to work with anyone on building those toolkits. Yeah. So here's an example of what a toolkit looks like. This is the long-term care toolkit. Uh, here you can see there are various different sub subspecialties with regards to topics, like we have addictions in long-term care, for example, falls, family, geriatric care, pressure ulcers, etc. Again, we're happy to add things to this list if there's a particular subject area that you feel should be covered here but isn't. I also wanted to mention that on the left-hand side here, we have some more general resources, which includes a lot of open access and free resources, videos, assessment tools, that kind of thing. So really there's a whole bunch of different things here that will help support you in your practice. And we're always help, happy to help you look for more if there's something that's missing from this list. Mm -hmm. So that brings us to the end. I just want to mention again that uh, we will be sending out a slide deck and there will be a, a uh, recording of this video available in a couple of days. If you have any questions, we'll be on the line for a few more minutes, so feel free to chat with us or contact us uh, through our numbers here. Uh, if you ever have any questions, we have our general uh, WRHA virtual library number. You now have contacts for two librarians. Uh, also, I wanted to mention on, on most of our pages, you'll see in the top corner, as you do here, a little ask us so that if you're online doing a search and you run into a problem or you forget how to order something, uh, you can easily ask us online and we can help you right on the spot there through a chat service. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call out to us and uh, we'll put you on mute for a little while while you think about any questions. And uh, also, hopefully, your homework for today is to sign up for our WHA Virtual Library newsletter. Uh, that way, you'll stay on top of on what new toolkits we're creating, uh, what new current perspectives we're putting up, and what new webinars or help sessions we're, we're putting on. So thank you for being here, and we'll just mute ourselves for a few minutes. <laughs>